Hi, Chad here with Purple Collar Life and welcome to part two of our 26 part series on taking care of this oak tree. Just kidding, it won't be 26 parts. But if you missed the last video, we were talking about this 100 foot oak tree that fell down in the middle of the woods here. And we've been working on chunking that up. You can see we've got quite a few rounds here, but this is heavy oak and these are some big pieces. So we're gonna use the split fire with the log lift so that we're not hurting our backs getting those big chunks up there. We'll make them into smaller, more manageable pieces and then we'll haul them out of the woods here. So let's go ahead and get started.
far we've only done two and a half of those big rounds and we're making quite a bit of good firewood and we have over here a pretty decent stack of let's see what happens to these ants firewood hopefully they'll abandon their home some of this isn't going to be any good others of it actually is still pretty good firewood so we hope they abandon it but for now we'll leave it here so we're not chancing taking that down to the barn or the house uh the split fire splitter like jennifer was talking off camera this is one of those things that you just don't want to put off and purchase you know too late in life this is super handy to have especially with the log lift you can see the size of some of these rounds and this is all green wood so it's heavy and you'll notice that it's so heavy the log lift on the split fire will lift 300 pounds i'm not having any trouble lifting those logs i don't know what they weigh they may be around 300 pounds maybe, maybe they're significantly less i have no idea but i will tell you they're heavy enough that even though the the log lift can lift them i'm lifting this whole side of the splitter off the ground at the time so dad's actually been putting his foot on that wheel to keep the weight on so we don't tip the whole splitter over if we connect the front end to the side by side it'd probably be a little bit more stable because we're we're running downhill here and when you tip it off one side it kind of skids forward but having the log lift a huge back saver from trying to have two people lift that on and then You've got multiple pieces falling all over the ground. Now we can just set one piece off to the side and, and keep this as kind of a staging area for what we're splitting. That's a big load of wood. Let's see if it'll lift. So what is that, three rounds, four rounds? I think that was four. Well, Probably three and a half. That first one I did was a half. Tires are pretty squished. That's too high. Just leave it like there. calling it for today for uh, part two of the 26 part oak tree adventure. We have two carry-all loads of that good heavy oak. This is going to make really good firewood probably in two years from now. Maybe a year if it gets enough airflow, but I'm guessing about two years of this oak seasoning. It's still really green. Of course, it's always easier if you have the right tools. So not that we're sponsored by steel, but we've always had really good luck with our steel chainsaws and they you know, when you have a tool that just keeps working when you need it to and you're not messing with it or working on it more than you're working with it, that's always helpful. And then of course, we always say good things about our Split Fire 2265, especially on a project like this, having that log lift.
If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on what you enjoy doing with your equipment. And uh, we'll see you again the next time.